Thank you. Hi, I'm Kristen Taylor. So I'm here to talk to you tonight uh, about a very serious condition um, that you may have, you may know someone. Um, this affects about, well, tens of thousands of Americans uh, every year. Um, and this condition is called ABD. Um, ABD means all but dissertation. It means that you have completed everything in your doctoral career except for the final defense. Um, now, when we think about what goes into your PhD career, there's a long list of things. You will notice, in fact, and some of these overlap, you will notice that there is no end date. It, in fact, takes as long as it takes. Um, and I went to a program that uh, is the, was the uh, number two public university in the country and uh, top 10 in, in the field. And this is how many minutes the average person in my program took to finish. That's nine years that, uh, that all the people in the program were affected with this uh, condition. Um, I saw the best minds of my class go on to glamorous and exciting jobs in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, Reno, um, and Milwaukee. It's not that graduate school doesn't teach you a lot of really useful uh, skills. This is the graduate uh, sport, the school sport, you could say. Dumpster diving is very important when you're trying to subsist upon $13,000 a year. Um, you'll also be spending your Tuesday nights at Theory Group with about 30 or 40 guys. Um, you will be talking for hours on end about Lacan and the mirror stage and things like Klein bottles, which sort of infinitely loop, uh, much like your career and your life at that moment. <laughs> um, so my professors kept saying to me, you really, really need to find a framework, Kristen. And I said, okay. Um, and then I realized that, in fact, my framework is much like the edible radish sticks of the doozers, and it needs to be constantly rebuilt. Now, when you submit things in academia, there's only two forms of currency, the book and the peer-reviewed journal, and this is what they tell you when you try to get in. But in fact, when we do something online, instantly we are published, um, and everything counts. One of the other reasons that you need to get out of the humanities PhD programs is that, in fact, the great vowel shortage is over. We're now naming products with vowels, and we need people who know how to make meaning with words. Um, you don't have to give up teaching. This was my Skillshare class doing food photography a couple weeks ago, Woo! Um, and that's my ITP class from last fall that, uh, that Tikva talked about. So you don't have to give up teaching. It's very important. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't work with really eccentric people. These are my studio mates. It's a co-working space in Dumbo. Um, I think we're looking at a unicorn. Um, and we had dressed up for a rainbow parade that we were having. No socks with sandals, but still eccentric. Um, now, your family is still going to call you and say, honey, we're, we're still really sad that you're not a real doctor. And then you can take a deep breath and remember that now you are financially solvent um, and that you can, in fact, afford therapy. Um, this, is, this is what we need to do. This is the charge before us, uh, before everyone affected with this condition. It is to actually apply the knowledge, apply the research methods that you now know to things in the real world. A few weeks ago, my friend Maria Popova, you know her as Brain Picker Online, made this point at Creative Mornings, and she said, um, scholarship is different than curation. Both of those are wonderful and viable paths, but I think actually what we need and something a little bit different. In the middle of the 19th century, there was someone who was a cultural ob observer. Um, it's a flaneur, is the name for this person. Um, and I know what you're thinking, wry, detached, distant, cultural commentator. Uh, but in fact, in their day, they were juxtaposed to the dandies, who were making socio-political statements with their hairstyle in the 19th century equivalent of skinny jeans. I don't think we need any of that at all. Uh, but what we do need from everyone coming out of PhD programs is we need cultural interventionists uh, because in fact there is a lot of work before us. There are a lot of pressing issues of the day. Um, and so at this point I, I really just want to say that instead of writing that beautifully, beautifully penned um, you know, thing about the latent homosocial bonds in Act 3, Scene 2 of Hamlet, instead rise up, ABD Nation, because we have work to do. I'm Kristen Taylor, and I think you should quit your PhD and change the world.